Hello, my friends. Good evening. I hope you have had a very good Mother's Day. Espero que han tenido un buen día de las madres. Um, no sé si pueden escucharme. Carito, can you hear yes, me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay, just give me a second. Necesito configurar algo. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we are here now. Let's see. Okay, Carito, how was yesterday? ¿Cómo estuvo ayer? Normal. Uh, Interesting. Good. Bad. So so. I'm going to say that normal. Like a Sunday day. Relaxing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing important. Nothing. Wonderful. Okay, nice. But you have like you were relaxed, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's really good. That's what matters. Okay, so thank you, Carito. Let's listen to Gabriel con un nuevo look. Hello, Gabriel. Se escondió mejor. Okay, ya va a aparecer. Um, let's see. Okay, okay. with the purpose. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you tonight? Mm, fine. 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 No. Fine. Okay. Espero que te hayas portado bien ayer. Okay. So that's important. Sí, sí. Me porté bien. Me porté bien. Me yeah. dejaron durmiendo afuera. Okay. No, mentira. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> uh, they need space. Necesitan espacio a veces. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Okay, here we have uh, some others: Luis, Wendy, Carlos, uh, Duram. Nice to see you. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Hello. Hello. Espero que la hayan pasado bien. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good, Good, evening. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. My friends, we are now in the middle. Estamos a la mitad. We are in the middle of the course. Estamos a la mitad del curso. And it is important to know that we have to be, well, we have to complete unit number two, tener la unidad dos y el examen de medio curso, que es the midterm test, para los quienes no lo han hecho, okay? I need you to do it, necesito que lo hagan ahora o mañana, super temprano. That's important, okay? Para que podamos pasar, digamos, bien con las notas y no tengamos eh, dificultades ni nada de eso. Ok, my friends, so, voy a hacer recordatorio al finalizar la clase, pero algo súper importante es que estamos a la mitad. We are in the middle of the course. Estamos a la mitad del curso. Eso es muy motivante porque de aquí para allá van a sentir que el tiempo pasa más rápido. Se van a dar cuenta, las clases pasan aún más rápido. Teacher, una yes. pregunta. ¿El módulo terminaría? Eh, nos vamos a correr un día por el día Exacto. de la suerte. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, we were supposed to finish, let me see. Um, Wednesday 25th, en teoría, se suponía que vamos a terminar el miércoles 25, right, de mayo, pero vamos a terminar el 26. Jueves. Jueves, ajá, jueves 26. Así que ya el viernes ustedes pueden preparar su party, ya para, para irse a la parranda y para celebrar que tienen un, un curso más, pues, eh, aprobado, porque sé que todos lo van a aprobar. Veo sus notas si están aceptables. Pueden hacerlas mejor, ¿verdad? Recuerden que si tienen 70, 72 puntos, vuelvan a hacerlas, ¿verdad? Para que tengan mínimo 80 y no tengan dificultades. Lo ideal es que tengan mejor 100, 90, para que nadie de INSAFOR les le diga que no pasaron. Ustedes les, van a, les pueden exigir. Pasamos 100%. ¿Ok? So, that's it. Eh, así estaríamos el jueves 26. Right. Sí, si sí, nos quedarían prácticamente 10 días, 10 clases, ¿verdad? That's it, okay. Um, here we have Kenya. Hello there. Hello, teacher. Mm, how are you? I'm fine. Fine, no problems. Everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, gracias. Okay, nice, nice. Sí, que te, te nos habías perdido, pero okay. We got... Unit number two, review, practice. Esto es algo que me gusta ver. 
Look, esto es class number 10, clase 10. Algo que más me gusta es eh, clase 20, pero no es porque ya no los quiera ver ustedes, sino que me siento muy, muy eh, satisfecho cuando terminamos un curso, ¿verdad? Es como que mm, lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Y la mayoría, pues, lo, lo ha pasado. Es como bien satisfactorio. I like it. Ok, so before we start, let's talk about the past. Let's talk about our childhood, our memories from childhood. And here we have mentioned your favorite toy when you were a kid. I can imagine that you have like different toys, but we have one in special that we remember. Okay, it could be maybe uh, when we were 10, quizá cuando teníamos 10, or when we were seven, because there are, uh, well, some, some people that they don't remember. I don't know why, maybe they block their memories. Algunos bloquean sus, sus recuerdos. I don't know why there are some, uh, so, some people who don't remember. I remember when I was four years old. Imagínense cuando tenía cuatro años, me acuerdo de todo. I remember, well, almost everything when I was four. So, well, let's listen to some of you. And what are your, or what were, or what was your favorite toy? Okay, here we start with Wendy and then Carito. Okay, Wendy, tell me, what about your toy? Okay, teacher, uh, my favorite toy as a child was a roller skate, skater doll. Okay, uh, a roller skater? A skater doll. Doll, no. ah, una muñeca, patinadora. Sí. Yes. Well, yes how is. old were you? Uh, ten. Mm, okay. Okay, you were 10, yes. So you remember a lot, right? Yes. You remember a lot uh, that, that toy, okay? And what happened to that? ¿Qué le pasó? Don't Disappeared remember. Or what? Um, it doesn't mm, exist. Okay. Sí, don't remember. Sí. Okay, you don't remember. Okay, that, that usually happens, okay? <laughs> well, thank you, Wendy. Really nice, really nice. A roller skate okay. ball, right? Don't. Okay, interesting. Nice, thank you, Wendy. What about Carito? And then we we'll go with Luis, okay, Carito? Tell us about okay. your thousand of toys. <laughs> okay, teacher, my favorite toy when I was little was a radio in the shape of a yellow chick. Okay, okay. A radio in a shape or shape? Shape. 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 Okay, shape of a what? A uh, yellow chick, pollito. Mm. A, a, a yellow chick, okay. Chick. Yeah, sí, wow. era un pollito amarillo con el piquito naranjado. I was like four or five years, I don't remember exactly, but that was my favorite. She was so okay. cute. Really? Okay, chicken. <laughs> like this shape, right? Chicken shape, okay? Yes. Oh. Wow, and you can you could listen to music with the chicken. Yeah, yeah. Wow, really nice. Yes, because uh, well, I remember when I was a kid, uh, it was difficult to have a uh, interesting or or like nice toys because they were more expensive. Eran más caros, right? A lot of toys, good toys that we wanted, they were expensive. Now they are kind of cheap. Yeah, also, in, in my case. In my case, we are talking about like 40 years ago. So you were five? You were five years? Four? Four, I guess. Four, ah, four years. Okay. okay, yes. Imagine in at that time, the toys were more expensive. <clears throat> now we have a variety. We have different yeah. types. Or, or we have Chinese. Tenemos los chinitos. Yeah, or you know, functional. I never have a Barbie, an original Barbie. Barbie. Okay. No. All I, were like... My parents couldn't pay it. And they give me Barbies chiviadas uh, it's without fake. hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> without hair. And the plastic was so, so, so barato. Uh, chip. Chip. Chip, yeah. Chip, okay. But, 
Mm -hmm. I was happy with the... Yeah, with your toy. Yeah. You were, of course, when we are kids, we're happy yeah. with uh, what, well, about our toys. Okay, fake is falso, como el amor de su ex. Fake, okay. We have copycat. <laughs> that is, yes, it's true. It's true, yes. definitely. Okay, copycat is una copia. Okay, that, that's, well, it's kind of similar because fake is something, uh, for example, la marca, the, the brand Nike, en el lugar de Nike, otros aparecen como Kike. <laughs> o en lugar de Puma, Pumba. So those are like fake. But copycat, copycat are copias. So cuando le dicen copycat, es una copia. No, Super in my case it was a... Fake. A very... Okay. Cheap. Yes. Okay. And, and here we have Chip, que es, que es barato. Hay un grupo que se llama Chip Trick, que es, creo que lo conocen. Chip Trick significa truco barato. Okay. Chip Trick. Chip es barato. Okay. Eh, lo contrario de Chip es expensive. Or... Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Thank you, Carito. Interesting toys. Uh, Luis, what about you? And then mm. we go with um, Wilfredo. Okay, teacher, um, my favorite toy, it was the kite, or in Spanish, piscucha. Okay. Yes, kite. And there are different shapes. Shapes es, es la formas. Son formas, shapes, okay? The, now we have kites with different shapes, but uh, in the past you had, you used tombola, right? I can imagine, right? It would with the wood or, or, or can? Utilizaste tombola, me imagino, de, de lata o de madera, de wooden. <laughs> right? Yes, de lata. Ah, de lata, yes. Nido, <laughs> nido, can. Yes. Can significa poder, pero también significa lata. Can, okay. So, mm. yes, we, we have like different toys and those, maybe the, there is something good of this kite, de las piscuchas o las cometas, is that you mm. can do it, okay. You can do it, and that's something very, very interesting. Okay, hey, how old were you, Luis? You were 10, eight years old? Um, six years. Ah, six, six you were six really, year. you, were, you, were, you were a kid, okay? Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you, Luis, really nice. Great. Okay, let's listen to Wilfredo and then Carlos. Okay, Wilfredo, what about you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my favorite toy uh, uh, was a uh, uh, trompo. Trompo. Ah, trompo. It's a, la, la, like a. It's like a proper name. Es como pupusas, como como pastelitos. Those are proper names. Son nombres propios coloquiales que no tienen tradu traducción, right? So that's it. So well, that that's a trompo. And we have different types, right? Hay uno que llaman WhatsApp, there are some others, and, and it is good, and you need skills to do that, to play it, para jugar. Necesitan habilidad, it is not so easy, okay? So I recommend you a video of Kaylor Navas. There is on YouTube a video in which he shows different forms to how to play it. Ahí sale Kaylor Navas en un video de YouTube explicando cómo hace varios trucos. Les se los recomiendo. Interesante. Okay, and thank you, Wilfredo. We have uh, Carlos, and then we go with Yvette. Okay, Carlos, tell us about your favorite toy. Okay, teacher. My favorite, my favorite toys were cars I'm making, I try in the making mode of, out of wind dirt. Okay, so different cars. You, you had like a different models. Yes. Okay, yes. that's nice, yes. There's always, I don't know if you remember that, well, nowadays they, they, they sell like a box with a lot of different cars with different colors. ¿Verdad que vendían una caja con un montón de carritos así de colores? Yes. That was really, really amazing. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Let's listen to Yvette and then Gabriel. Okay, Yvette, what about you? Okay, teacher. Um, my favorite toy um, sería copycat a uh, Barbie. Ah, okay. A copycat of uh -huh, Barbie. Dolby. Okay. Okay, Dolby Simil Cows. Mm -hmm. 
uh, excuse me, though because uh, I like to dress her here, here. Okay, mm -hmm. to dress. Dress significa vestido, ¿verdad? O la manera como se viste, pero también es un verbo, vestir. How to dress a verbie. And that's a common, a common game, how to dress, okay? So that's it. Um, similar to Carito, that, that she said that, that she didn't have uh, an original doll, but uh, at that time, as I told you before, they were more expensive. Era un poquito más cara, so, well. Yes. Interesting. Okay, thank you, Yvette. Uh, let's listen to Gabriel, and then we go with Evelyn. Okay. I I did the favorite favorite see yeah. yeah favorite yes. favorite was the plane plane un avión plane yes okay. I dream of being a pilot ah you dream you wanted to be a pilot okay yes that, that that's really interesting okay good for you. Thank you, Gabriel. And here we have Evelyn, and then we go with Oscar. Okay, Evelyn. Okay. My favorite toy when I were a kid was a uh, Roxana doll. Dolls. It was famous Roxana doll. Yes, yes. I remember. Yes. Okay. I remember the commercials. About mm -hmm. Sana. Uh -huh. so yes. wow, interesting. But it was kind of big, era algo grande, verdad? Sí. Yes, sí. I remember those. Wow, Inter interesting. <laughs> those. What happened to that? ¿Qué le pasó? You don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember it. Sometimes we have cousins, uh, we, we have uh, nephews or niece, verdad? Tenemos sobrinos. Mm -hmm. Sobrinas, niñas, and, and, and they they took our toys sometimes, and, and that happens. That's really common. Okay, Evelyn, thank you. We go now with Oscar and then Kenya. Okay, Oscar. What about you? Good evening. Good evening. My favorite toys when I was a child, I did not have a special toy. Okay. Myself. But I really uh, like it to play a uh, spinning top, uh, uh, chibolas, uh, pijucha, uh, original, original game and main time. Uh, I still have uh, many chibolas. Okay, you have a lot of so chibolas. Esas muchas, sí muchas, muchas tengo. Yes, marvels. Son las chibolas. Y también se llaman los chirolones, the, the big ones. <laughs> Lo grandotes. In that um, marbles or chivolas, uh, they were difficult to play. They're algo difícil jugar eso. So you need ability. Mucho habilidad. tengo. Mucho. Okay. Perfect, Oscar. Perfect. And something that I liked uh, in the past of this, con todos estos juegos, is that you needed time practicing. Necesitaban tiempo para practicar. So your mind was focused. Tu mente estaba ocupada en algo. That was really, really good. Yes, Carlos, tell me. Teacher, usted no sé si se acuerda de unos que vendían en el zoológico que uno le hacía así y sonaban todo. Yes, it, it, it was a, 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 a song, hacía un efecto acústico. ¿Matraca? Una... Ah, exacto. Mm, no, no. Parecido, la matraca ajá. creo que es una cumbia, pero igual. Ajá. Los zumbadores. Son los triquitracas. No, 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 tampoco. Los triquitracas se jugaban así y, y, y chocaban las dos bolitas. Esa era como que, como que tenía un, un palito y tenía una pita. Ajá. Y de ahí tenía como un, o sea, era como una... ¿Capirucho? Como un capirucho, pero cuando lo... When you ah, spin it, cuando lo girabas, entonces el sonido que rozaba la punta de, de, del palito daba con, con el otro... Con otro de ¿qué? un contenedorcito así como de maderita, no era de madera, pero de cartón creo que era. Y es, daba un sonido bien, era un poquito fuerte el sonido. Estaba rodeado de plumitas. Yes, feathers, tenía plumitas. Creo que todo niño, well, almost every kid ha, has had. 
one of them. Ha tenido uno Todos de esos. Todos los que hemos pasado en, en, en el, el zoológico. zoológico. Uh -huh. el zoológico. Uh, I guess there is a foundation of special uh, people. So they have like uh, Down syndrome and some other uh, difficulties, neurological difficulties. So they do it. They make them. Eh, las personas con, con, con síndrome Down o, o, o que, son, que tienen ciertas eh, que, eh, situaciones neurológicas, al parecer hacen esas cosas. Algunos, algunos, ¿verdad? Pero bien, interesante eso, eso. No sé cómo se llama, I don't know. Tarea. It's a homework. Voy a preguntar cómo se llama. Ok, thank ya you, Carlos. <laughs> ok, Kenia, ya que saliste, te disparaste. Ok, Kenia, what about you? And then we go with Mardo. Ok, teacher. Uh, hot white cars have always been my favorite. Mm. Cars. Uh, cars. Escuché Hot Wheels hot, or, or hot cars wheels. in general? No, Hot Wheels. Uh, hot Wheels, yes. They are, they are like very defined in detail. Me gusta porque el, el detalle está bien definido. Y los carritos esos son, yes. Yes, yes. Y, uh, but I always dream uh, of having a red strike. I'm siempre sorry. Quise, siempre quise un, un, una pista. De ellos, de, de carrera, de hallway. And did you have it? ¿Nunca lo tuviste? No, eso sí, nunca lo tuve. Ok. Y siempre soñé de tener uno de esos. Bueno, podría comprarla ahora y no es broma. No, mm -hmm. no, it's not a joke. You can do it. There are a lot of things that we wanted when we were kids. Si tengo un niño, sí se lo voy a comprar. Guay, ya la está tirando. Ok, ok, genial. A perfect idea. Thank you. Um, let's listen now to Mardo and then we go with Claudia. Okay, teacher. Yeah. When I was a child, I liked to play with a wheelbarrow. A wheel, una rueda, una llanta. Wheelbarrow. wheelbarrow. Uh, carretilla de valeros. Ah, yes, yes, well, but, let me, yes, I remember I saw a couple of them, y tenían unas, but the wheels, cabal, yeah. la, 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 las roditas eran bien delgaditas, eran como de, sí, como de un valero, valero. grande, ¿verdad? Mm. Valeros, y era de madera. And you have like string, tenías como una cuerda, y con eso la, yeah. era tu timón, ¿verdad? Yeah. Accionado. Mm -hmm. Sí, me gustaba run, run in the street. Or maybe sometimes there was a hill. A veces había como pequeñas bajaditas, unas colinitas. Ahí aprovechaba uno, yeah. yes. Well, interesting, Mardo. Me estoy recordando muchas cosas. No me acordaba de eso. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, next to my, well, my neighbors had one. Mi, mi, mi vecinos tenían una. Mm -hmm. No subíamos. Yeah. Yeah. Really interesting memories. Thank you, Mardo. We go now with Claudia and Edwin. Hey, Claudia. Uh, oh, hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, my favorite toy is uh, soccer, or soccer, no sé. Soccer. And mm -hmm. Joyo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. oh. And Joyo and Jacks. <laughs> ah, the Jacks, yes. Uh -huh. I like y it. Y el Joyo. Yes, uh, yes. I like it. Ok, eso con, con lo del el tema de las, las marbles, las chivolas y el jack, se desarrolla habilidad gruesa y habilidad fina. Perdón, motricidad gruesa mm -hmm, y motricidad sí. fina. Porque tomabas un jack, ok, y okay, you had to count, because you throw a ball, tirabas la, la pelota, and you count. Ok, the rebound, el rebote, and you took a couple of jacks. Ah, los and you were increasing. Ah, los Uh -huh. You were increasing the difficulties. Okay, so. Es cierto, yes, es really cierto. Good. And the girls don't play that now. Okay, currently, boys and girls don't, don't play Marvels, okay, don't play Jacks and some other uh, games that are really constructive. Considero que son constructivos. Hasta el salta cuerda. Ajá, el salta cuerda y el hule. <laughs> hule. Ah, sí. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Ule. Oh. Sí, un ule que se ponía en los, abajo de los pies. O sea, 
eran dos. Ah, yes, and you y have to jump. Y tenía que saltar. Ajá. Ajá. Ay, es jump. cierto. Yes, ajá. Okay. <ríe> y el que le llegaba aquí por, por, por el tobillo, la doblaba. O sea, se caía porque como no se podía llegar hasta arriba, va. Uh -huh. Okay, <ríe> sí, interesting. Sí. Thank you, Claudia. Creo que eh, todos los que están en esta clase hemos tenido una, una niñez interesante con respecto a juegos. Ok, por lo menos con el tema de juegos. Ok, um, let's listen to Edwin. I don't know if you're ready. Yes. Ok, my friend, go. My favorite toy was the trompo. Mm, ok. I like, I like to play at recess. And after two, we play like six or seven friends. Mm -hmm. Yes. And something that was like people were waiting for the calazos. Todos están esperando por los calazos, right? Que son la los golpes que muerte. le das. La famosa Ajá. muerte del sapo. La muerte del sapo. <laughs> Ajá. Yes. That's it. That's it. Eh, okay, Duran, ya que apareciste. Ajá. Tell us. Cuéntanos, cuéntanos. Tell us about your favorite toy. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, my favorite toys they were uh, remote control cars. Mm, yeah. Yes, that was really innovating. Fue muy innovador. Because I guess control cars appear maybe in our childhood. Eh, lo, lo, los con, eh, carros de control remoto aparecieron, creo que se desarrollaron mucho en, durante la niñez, hubo un eh, periodo de tiempo. So that's it. But well. Thank you, Duran. Thanks, okay. teacher. Thanks. Well, uh, I guess you have really good memories, teacher. my friends. Yep. Ya, lo investigué, se llama Ron Ron. Ahí les mandé la foto. En el Ron Ron, le dicen a un vecino. Okay. Yes, it is like, but Ron Ron is an insect. También es un insecto, but okay. Uh -huh. Pero así, así, así se llama. El juguete que venden afuera de eso. Ron Ron. Uh -huh. Porque por lo, ajá, así se llama, lo acabo de, de, de investigar. Lo googleaste. Ajá, lo busqué. Ok, ron, ron. Sí, y si sí, escucha ron, ron, es el sonido ron. Ese es onomatopéico. Sí. Es onoma, onomatopéico. Ok, I'm sorry, just give me one second. Deme un segundo. No, wrong, wrong. Okay. Interesting. Okay, my friends. Uh, now we have talked about the, the past. Y eso es algo también de, de lo que nosotros podemos, we have to take into account. If a person tells you uh, or asks you, tell me about yourself. Si les preguntan, cuéntame sobre ti. You can talk about everything. And that's an interview question. One of the most important interview questions. If you have an interview in English, you are going to give personal information, but also you're going to tell something uh, that maybe stories or anecdotes that you lived. Esa es la, la pregunta. Tell me about yourself. Cuéntame sobre ti. Eso abarca mucho. You can talk about your personality, but you can say like this. Well, now I'm going to tell you something that uh, almost nobody knows. Ahora le voy a te voy a contar. Le pueden decir la entrevista algo que casi nadie sabe. When I was a kid, I had a toy. Y empieza cuando era un niño, tuve un juguete. And that's something that it is like a plus for you. Es un, es un punto positivo para ti porque estás, te salís de, de la conversación normal y le estás dando información extra. Okay, so that's it. And so you have to take into account. Tiene que tomar en cuenta eso, verdad? So well, uh, let's move. Vamos a movernos. And here we have ways to say I agree with you. For example, 
If a person tells you, mm, I consider that kids uh, shouldn't be alone at home. Si le dice alguien una idea, por ejemplo. Considero que los niños no deben de estar solos en casa. Ah, you can say, mm, estoy de acuerdo contigo. I agree with you. I'm with you. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. You have a point there. Tell me about it. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. No es cold. Okay? It's like this. Aquí se dice couldn't. Okay? Couldn't. I couldn't agree more. Se dan cuenta que hay varias palabras. There are a lot of words in English that are not so difficult to pronounce, but they look like. Se ven como difíciles de pronunciar, pero no son tan difíciles, okay? So, I, uh, well, I couldn't agree more. You have a point there. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'm with you. Como una canción de Avril Lavigne, que me gusta mucho. Tell me about it. About it. Okay. So, let's, uh, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? So, if you want to take notes about this. And um, say hi or hello if you listen to your name, okay? So we start with uh, Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, that's it. Uh, Pinto, no, we don't have Pinto. Carito. Hello, teacher. Who so there, Edwin. Elisa, Eli, no, alguien sabe por qué no, no se conecta Elisa. Bueno. No, teacher, me voy a averiguar. Ok, sí, que últimamente ha estado ocultando un poquito. Ok, Steffi, estado oyente, Evelyn, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Gabriel. Present, teacher. Nice, Durán. Yvette. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kenya. Hello teacher. Hello there. Luis. Hello teacher. Hello Mardo. Hello teacher. Nice. Mm, Oscar. Hello teacher. There. Nina. Tom. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hello, and Wendy. Okay. So, where's the system? Yes, Duran. Sí, sí, ya te puse. Okay, ahorita. Okay, please. Okay. Um, tell me what's uh, the, the phrase that called your attention. Okay, we start now with Luis and then Wendy. Okay, go. Okay, teacher. Uh, I, I couldn't agree more. Nice. Wendy, Wilfredo. You have a point there. Good. Wilfredo Duran. And um, what's you? Uh, I am, or I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, uh, Duran and Mardo. Tell me about it. Good. Mardo, Gab uh, Claudia. I, could, I couldn't agree more. Nice. Claudia, Oscar. Okay, Oscar and Gabriel. Good. Okay, Gabriel and Carito. I am with you. Good. Carito and Evelyn. Hola, teacher, me voy a. Okay, permítame, Carito. Sí, Claudia. Hello. Yes, me oye. Es que se oye algo Ahora cortado. Sí. Ahora sí, sí, sí. Uh, ¿Qué se te ahora cortó? sí, ah, bueno, ah, pues sí. Todo bien. Sí, sí. Perfect. Todo bien, yes. Yes, that's it. Ok, we go with Carito and Evelyn. Tell me about it. Good, Evelyn and Kenya. I couldn't agree more. Mm, I couldn't. Good. I couldn't. Yes. Kenya, Edwin. I'm with you. I'm with you. Ok. 
Thank you. Okay, Let, let's move uh, because we have some other things. Remember that we were uh, talking about the past. Estamos hablando acerca del pasado con unos worship and ya estamos pues, como que muy claro con este tema, okay? Eh, tenemos que el pasado puede ser con ed, si son regulares, si son irregulares, cambia, ¿verdad? El pasado le ponemos didn't, ¿ok? Um, y tenemos acá el did you en pregunta, que es fácil, fácil, right? Easy peasy. Eh, en el presente tenemos el don't o el does, en el pasado tenemos didn't. Y pues vamos a trabajar con este, ¿ok? Este ya lo hicimos, así que necesito que lo hagamos un poco más rápido, ¿ok? Solo para refrescar, to refresh our brain. Eh, necesito que desde ya tengan una o dos o tres opciones listas, ¿ok? Carito, we start with you and then we go with Wendy. ¿Ok, Carito? Number one. It's a question. Son Did preguntas. you close the door? Perfect. Did you close the door? That's it. Thank you. And we go with Wendy and Evelyn. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Evelyn and Kenya. Number two. Yeah. Did Claire uh, finish? The housework. The yeah. housework. Perfect. Okay, Kenya and Wendy. Three. Okay. Is he to have? Ah, uh ah, -uh. sin, sin el two. The, uh -huh. Did he have about yesterday? Thank you. Okay, we go with Wendy and then we go with Wilfredo. Uh, five. Okay. Did Ronald visit the Tower of London? Thank you. That's nice. Okay, we go with Wilfredo and Luis. Number eight. Okay, eight. Mm -hmm. Did the girl? Uh, drop uh, the caption bottle. Ajá, esto se dice bottle, 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 Bo como bottle. En, en los británicos dicen bottle, bottle. Pero nosotros, como en inglés americano, decimos bottle. Ok, uh, bottle. thank you. Uh, we go with Luis and then Carlos. Uh, number nine, teacher. Yep. Did you buy the green the shirt last Monday? Perfect. That's good. Carlos and Gabriel. Number six, big picture. Yeah. The painting and all all leave it and look at after the baby. Sin el ed, solo look look after the baby. Okay, look. Okay, okay thank you. Here we go with Gabriel and Oscar. The 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 boy. And um, into the lake. Oh. Into the lake. Into the lake. Okay. Oscar and Yvette. Oscar, seven or ten? Seven. Okay. Uh, the invalid card? No. No, Oscar, is, did she make the invitation cards herself? Did she make? Okay, thank you. And now we go with Yvette, number 10. Did they practice karate this morning? Practice, practice karate. Practice. Okay. Thank you. Very nice, okay. very nice. Estamos bastante bien, okay? So here we have some others. Hagamos las rápidos, okay? From one to ten, quickly, okay? We're going to start now with um, Luis, and then we we'll go with Kenya. Okay, Luis. Okay. Number A, mm -hmm. what she happened to be? Uh, aquí sería, uh, she was, she was. She was. She was happy. She was okay. happy. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Let me see. Bueno, como tenemos que hacer la, la, la tenemos que hacer pregunta, pero entonces aquí sí es was she happy? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Was she happy? That's uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Perfect, perfect. Uh, uh -huh. Luis, we go now with Kenny and Carito. Hagamos estas preguntas. Teacher, uh -huh. two. 
Yeah. Uh, did she work home? Okay, that's nice. And Carito, and then we go with um, Evelyn. Number four. Yep. Did you sing a song? Thank you. That's it. Uh, we go now with, who tell me, Get Evelyn, right? Evelyn and Wendy. Number three. Did you did you work in the garden? Yes. Thank you. Okay, we go now with let me see. I can have you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wendy and Wilfredo. Six. Did yeah. you visit the castle? Yes, that's it. Wilfredo, and after Wilfredo, we go with um, Oscar. Number five. Yeah. Did you, did you uh, see it on our trail? Yes. Thank you, Oscar. And after Oscar, we go with Mardo. Number seven. Yes. Did Jenny look the dog? Yes. Uh -huh. Mardo, number nine or ten? Number nine. Okay. Then we did go. Greg, did Greg kick the ball? Yes. Thank you. And the last one goes for Gabriel. Can you help us, please? Okay, the car stop at the corner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Okay, my friends, you did it really good. Creo que no tienen problemas con el pasado, ¿verdad? Y yo solo tengo una pregunta. Yes. En la number, eh, la number A, ahí va was porque tenemos el B. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, ah, le, le, le voy a explicar esto rápidamente. En mm -hmm. presente, decimos a... You don't like uh, tea. A ti no te gusta el té. Ahora, la pregunta sería, do you like tea? Eso es en presente. Ok, nice. Ahora, cuando utilizamos el verbo to be, decimos, you are, uh, uh -huh. you are, a, you are, a, What? Ah, ok, you are a boss. Tú eres un jefe. Ahora, si mm -hmm. hacemos la pregunta en presente, no are utilizamos you? do you are a boss, ¿verdad? No, no hacemos esto. ¿Verdad? Simplemente. Mm -hmm. Are you? Excelente. Cam cambiamos el orden. Cambiamos el orden. Are you a boss? Ahora, mm -hmm. en pasado, aquí es she was happy. Esa Sería... era la pregunta. Al revés, ¿verdad? Was she happy? Ajá, y solo lo cambiamos acá. Okay. Was she happy? Ese es mm -hmm. lo que pasa con el verbo to be con el pasado. Ajá. En cambio, con el resto, utilizamos el did. Pero did. el verbo mm -hmm. to be siempre... No, el, el verbo to be no necesita do, no necesita did, porque es, eh, digamos, independiente. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Pues le voy a poner más ejemplos como eso, Luis. Thank you for okay. telling me. Ok. Um, here we have this. Let me see. Vamos a decir que está tanto interesante. Talking about your company. Here we have like a puzzle. Tenemos este que es una sopa de letras. Ok, can you see it? Vamos a ver, ¿pueden verlo Kenia? Yes. Carito y Beth, yes, no problem. Good, perfect. Es que a veces hay unas actividades que son muy pequeñas, si se dan cuenta. Ok, so, talking about a company, here we have across. Ya saben que el across son así, across, across, across. Y las que son down, son para abajo, down, down, down. Ok, so here we have, cuando ustedes encuentren cualquiera de estas, me dicen, por ejemplo, eh, expertise. Nine, down. Digamos que está aquí, nine, y, la, y yo la voy a buscar, ¿verdad? Entonces, down. Entonces, yo la buscaría acá. ¿Ok? 
So here we have industry, staff, networking, branch, guests, no guests, guests, headquarters, small talk, manufacturer, personnel, expertise. Oscar, uh, do you have one? Yes, it's me, teacher. Okay, uh, Oscar and Gabriel. Gabriel, recuerda siempre levantar el emoji de la manita porque es más fácil, okay? Para identificarlos. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Oscar and Durán. Uh, down. What number? Uh, Primero dime la palabra first, tell me the word, then the number, and then across or down, okay? Uh, la palabra. Manuf manufacturer. Manufacture, okay. Manufacture. Mm -hmm. What number? The two. Two. Uh, down or across? Down. Manufacture. Yes, manufacture. Let's see. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Duran and Mardo. Okay, teacher. Uh, personal want across. Okay, personnel, personnel, one. Oh, that's easy, good one. Personnel. Sí, me escucha. Eh, sí, Kenia. Tú me habías hablado, Kenia. Kenia. O es Claudia. O es mi conciencia. Okay, I guess no. Creo que no. Okay. Mardo. The word. The number and then across or down. Net, uh, networking. Networking. Uh, Eleven. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero es para arriba, teacher. Eleven. Ah, okay, okay. Entonces, me dicen up. Up. Okay. 11 up. Ok, perfect. Two. Ah, de verdad que, que no, no, le, no le he puesto esa de up. Ok. Kenia and Evelyn. Ok, teacher. Yeah. Eh, head, headquarters. Ok, headquarters. Ajá. Eh, go, go. 11. La, la última, la última línea para arriba. Entonces tiene que decirme up. Ah, Ajá. Up. Headquarters. Up. Yes. Ah, entonces es 12. Me están diciendo 11. 11. Ok. 12. Perdón, perdón. Sí. Headquarters. Ay, con la S toda, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Thank you. Really nice. Esa estaba algo, algo así. Uh -huh. Thank you, Kenia. Evelyn and Carlos. Ex expertise. Expertise, okay. Uh, across number mm -hmm. 11. Yeah, there is expertise. Okay, uh, let's see, Carlos and, and Nina. Across, teacher. Branch. Branch. Nice. Okay, primero díganme la palabra, luego el número. Y dónde va? Okay, branch. What number? Branch. Nine. Nine. Across. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay, Nina, your turn. Staff. Staff. Number twelve. Number twelve. Yeah. Staff. Ah, está revés. Vaya. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Estas palabras no sé por qué no las he puesto. Backwards. Backwards es como de retroceso. No sé si se recuerdan a uh, los que utilizaron VHS o VCR. Con, cuando le, le, le presionaban el, el control, aparecía back o backwards. Que uno se retrocedía, ¿verdad? Hoy ya no es eso, ¿verdad? Hoy con las plataformas es diferente. But backwards es como de retroceso. Ok, Edwin, tell me, what, what? Uh, what is your word? Okay, number three, uh, down. And the word? Industry. Mm -hmm. 
three down. The, no, no. Yes. Industry. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Industry. Perfect. Okay, we go with Carito. Okay, the word is small talk. Small talk. Oh, yes. Number one, down. Mm, small talk. Good. Thank you, very nice. Bien, vamos a darle una... Uh, vamos a ver porque algunos ya pasaron, but let me give it to... Claudia, vamos a ver, Claudia. Guess... Um, ay no, es que ya me las quitaron <ríe> la que tenía. Okay. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. No problem. Vamos a ver si alguien más la sabe. Nah, nah, ah, nah, ya, nah, la vi, nah. ya la vi, ya la vi. Está al revés, teacher. Ok, y al revés se dice. Backwards. Backwards. What number? What backwards? Number two. Number two. B. Ya me perdí, la había visto. Ah, aquí está. Yes. Y yo buscando backwards, la palabra backwards. Ok, thank you. Very nice, my friends. It means that you have like a, well, it's a type of ability of intelligence. A lot of people hate, hate puzzles. Mucha gente odia los, este, los juegos de palabra. Puzzles, ¿verdad? O los crucigramas. Cross. Crosswords. They hate them. But in my case, I, I love them. It's like really interesting. Okay. Um, here we have this um, question. Where did you grow up? What do you remember the most? ¿Dónde creciste? ¿Y qué recuerdas más? So you can, uh, you can start saying, I grew up in la, la, la. And then what I remember the most is, so that's it. It is not necessary to give a long answer or explain. If you want to do it, okay, go ahead. But it's not, uh, the answer can be like really short. What if we start with uh, Carito, please? Okay, teacher. I grew up on my grandparents' farm. And what I remember the most is that when we got up, my grandmother had us a glass with great panela. And we were, we went with my sister to the corral and my grandfather milked the cow in the glass and we drank the warm milk from frothy and sweet. It was delicious. Okay, uh, you drank yeah, the yeah. milk directly. <clears throat> yes. Directly from the cow. Yes. Wow, I have experienced that and that's so tasty. Delicious, tasty. Yes, I know. Yeah, really good, really good. So that's it. Uh, when you say panela, it's a kind of honey. It's como miel. Um, Es dulce de atado here in El Salvador. Ah, dulce we de call atado. Panela. So the milk is mixed with the panela. Yeah, eh, la panela, it's solid. So mi abuela la raspaba. Okay. And when it make, mm, mixed with the milk, it was very, very delicious. Tasty, delicious. Nice. Yeah. Interested. Okay. Thank you. I like to hear those stories. Okay. Now let's listen to Kenya and then we we'll go with Carlos. Okay, Kenya. Okay, teacher. I grew up in the municipality of Soyapan. Good. What I re remember the most is that we met at outside the house with my friends and eat trees and soda. Oh, interesting. Aside, a la par, this is true, verdad? Sí. Okay, uh, yes. O sea, la reunión de, de chicos. Yeah, the meeting, the reunion. Uh -huh. It was common. Molestando, platicando y, Talking, y telling jokes, contar chistes, okay. Uh -huh. 
talk about the cartoons, hablar sobre las caricaturas, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And something good is that you eat, right? You share, mm -hmm. comparte, share mm -hmm. and eat. And that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Kenya, uh, perfect. Okay, we go with Carlos. And after Carlos, I would like to hear Yvette. Okay, teacher. Yeah. I green, I green up in the large family living tower. What I remember most is green way out all light to the tower as a pump dumpling in the side house. Only win different round. Okay, so you family is big. Yes. Okay, nice. It is good to have a, a big family. So you have a lot of cousins. You can play and you can fight. <laughs> that usually happens, right? With family, large family. Large significa grande. Por eso la L está en las camisas. L, large, M, medium, S, small. So those are shapes, okay? Thank you, uh, Carlos, really good. And we go with Yvette and we finish with Gabriel. Okay, teacher. Uh, I, I grew up, up in uh, San grew Salvador. Up. Mm -hmm. Grew up, grew up. Oh, pardon, I grew up in San Salvador but in a place very similar to the countryside. There were, there were mango trees, guayaba, orange, cocotes, and many coffee trees, and animals like chicken, ducks, dogs, and, and so on. Um, what do you remember? Um, that I like to climb the trees, in October when the October winds blue, blue and blue, send blue. the mm -hmm. blue, blue and send the branches of the trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting story. I like it. So <laughs> what what Yvette says is that she grew up in the in San Salvador but there were countryside parts. Nowadays, in those countryside parts, there are a lot of houses or, street or streets, right? Mm -hmm. yes. But in the, past, in, the, in the past, in San Salvador, there were a lot of parts similar to the countryside. Habían árboles y todo eso, okay? Cotuzas and all okay. those things, yes. <laughs> That's sí. really common, yeah. Okay, now San Salvador, <laughs> Or the urban areas are different. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Talking about that. Muy eh, yes, talking about that. Eh, the first year of the pandemic, um, I remember I saw some videos or people in Santa Tecla in which mm -hmm. there uh, appeared some beers. Aparecieron venaditos. Venados en las calles. In, because everybody. Sí, Everybody were at home, so the streets were empty. Las calles estaban solas, totally empty. So the 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 deers yeah. appear from the mountain. Okay, started to 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 walk on the streets. Really interesting. Obviamente en las afuera, verdad, de Santa Tecla, no, no hay verdad en el parque San Martín. Okay, okay, Perfecto. nice. Quiero comentar esto. Climb. Es escalar, ok, climb, blue es el pasado de blow, blow es soplar. So Yvette was on the top of the trees and the wind blew the branches, las ramas, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que branches significan sucursales en el tema empresarial, pero en el tema, digamos, natural significan ramas, son las ramas de un árbol. Ok, uh, we're going to continue, okay. thank you Yvette. We're going to continue now with the class because not all of some speaking activities. Tenemos que hacer de lo más. Pensé que a ustedes les gusta hablar muchas cosas. Okay. Write five information questions in the simple present. Use the verbs from the box. Okay. Uh, let me see. Le voy a mostrar mejor. 
um, la clase pasada que ahí tenemos algunos ejemplos. So you can take some examples. Because I know uh, sometimes, sometimes we have like some, some questions that are not so, let me see. Quiero que vean algunos ejemplos. Porque no estamos perdidos. Okay. The words are these ones. Las palabras son estas. Okay. Here we have over C. We have uh, the other that is manufacture, supervise, and be in charge of network, okay? Oversee, it's similar to supervise. Son similares. It means almost the same. Manufacture is, pues, crear, verdad, fabricar. Be in charge of, eh, estar a cargo de. En network es, son las redes, de, bueno, que uno puede tener cuando va a nuevos seminarios, ¿ok? So that's it. And some examples, ¿ok? Oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in charge of network. Now I'm going to uh, show you some of this. Here we have, ¿ok? Uh, for example, network. Mm -hmm. So, did you attend uh, the network, the convention? Uh, let me see. Here we have. No, no tenemos solo, solo tenemos exchange. Déjeme mostrar las otras. I'm looking. Pasa que aquí en este manual nos están pidiendo estas preguntas, pero no nos dan otras otros ejemplos solo no les están tirando a, al agua ok so let's take a look and let's base our examples vamos a hacer nuestros ejemplos en eso por ejemplo de, do you attend vamos a hacerlas en pasado porque aquí piden presente pero vamos a hacerlas en pasado ok did you attend uh, or did you have network or did you network in the in the in the conventions and your people seminar something so necesito que me hagan una por lo menos mm -hmm. did you oversee the employees uh, did your company manufacture x product yes carito No, no, teacher, sorry, pensé que quería que completáramos las del siguiente. No, no, eran solo ejemplos, ¿ok? okay. Por ejemplo, did you supervise, mm, pueden eh, mencionar alguna sucursal. Mm -hmm. Are you in church, o en pasado, were you in church of? Mm -hmm. So that's it. Think about one question. Piensen en una pregunta, ¿ok? Just one question. I'm going to give you like one minute, ¿ok?
Can we start with Carito in Kenya? Okay. I don't know if it is okay, but I have. Kenya, are you in charge of the microbiological laboratory? Yeah, interesting. Are you in charge? Okay, good. Microbiological. Mm -hmm. Microbiological. Interesting. Se escucha bien interesante eso. Como un arma de biológica de expansión masiva. Thank you, Carita. Kenya, and then we go with Wilfredo. Teacher, todavía no termina. Okay, Wilfredo, are you ready? And Carlos? Um, no, teacher. Okay, no. Carlos and Luis. En unos minutos, teacher, por favor. Okay, Luis. Sí. Yes. ¿Quién dijo eh. ti? ¿A quién le voy a hacer la pregunta? No, en general, no necesariamente al en general. Okay. okay. Did, did you supervise in San Salvador? Yeah, did you supervise? Mm -hmm. uh, the branch in San Salvador, el local mm -hmm. in San Salvador. Perfect. Good. Yes, mm -hmm. Carito. ¿Qué, ¿Qué me quieres decir, Carito? Yo, have... <laughs> yo sé que hay algo que está como un nudo en tu garganta. Dinos. Tell us. I have another question. Phrases. I... I just want to know if, if it's okay. Does Mardoqueo manufacture the sour cream? Manufacture? Okay. Yes. Manufacture does. the sour cream? Okay. Yes, interesting. Uh, actually, okay. Does he do that actually? Lo yeah. hace? Lo hace? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay perfect. We go with... Um, Rosalía, iba a decir. Rosalina, Nina, ok, Nina. Tell us about. Me va a matar con eso que ya no puedo ni hablar. Uh, come okay. on. Did you company manufacturing pants for women? Oh, interesting. Pants for women. Ok, thank you. Uh, Nina, have you been sick, right? I still being enfermita. Yeah. Okay, I hope you can get better. Espero que te mejores pronto. Okay, nice. We go with Evelyn and Oscar. Uh, did you supervise, supervise in the branch company? Okay, thank you. Oscar and Gabriel. Dame un minuto, por favor, escucha. Okay, no problem. Gabriel, what about you? Um, uh, this, this supervised packing department. Okay, did you, did you, did you, did you, did you supervise the packing department? Okay, interesting question. Okay, thank you. Vamos a avanzar un poquito. Wendy, what about you? You have your uh, question, Yvette? Yes, teacher. Did okay. you work? Did you work manufacture sweet bread? Okay, thank you. And Yvette, ready? Um, did Carlos supervise in the supermarket? Okay, thank you. Very nice. Okay. Good. Vamos bien. Okay. Vamos a avanzar porque si no, nos vamos a quedar. Tenemos otras actividades. Okay, listening. Please be ready with your pen or pencil. En un minuto mientras preparo esto.
Okay, let's listen. Hi, excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right, is the registration office. And next to that is the library. I see. Thanks. Okay, let's listen again. Hi, excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right, is the registration office. And next to that is the library. I see, thanks. Okay, my friends, volunteers for this conversation. Oscar, Carito. Okay, Marto. Uh huh. Oscar, you start. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Obviously, sorry. Registration. Uh, right. Uh, I see. Uh, library. There. The library. Yes. Thank you. Really good. Okay, we go with Carito and Marto and Evelyn. Okay, Carito. Hi, excuse me, delivery, the re registration office, no problem, build this building, it's the library, where is the library next to registration office, the right. Okay, good. Solo es library. Carito. Library. Library. So, es library. Really good. Anotaron okay. bastantes palabras. Mardo and Evelyn. Hi, excuse me. Yes, is this library? Sorry, office, no problem. And next, IT. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Interesting. Some, some, some of the words were different. Interesting. Thank you, Mardo. Uh, Evelyn. Hi, excuse me. The, the library is registration office. No problem, buildings uh, next to, thanks. Mm, wonderful, nice. Well, let's listen. Uh, you wrote down a lot of words. Escribieron bastantes palabras, I like it. Okay, and here we have, and let's listen the last time. Hi, excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right is the registration office. And next to that is the library. I see, thanks. So if you notice, it's like um, a very simple and short qu uh, conversation, but uh, there is, what could it be the topic of this conversation? ¿Cuál podría ser el tema de esa conversación? What is the center, the main point? Yep. Registra the labor. Okay. La biblioteca. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The main topic is the, the address, la dirección of the library. Where is the library? And some, uh, there are some other supporting details. Son los detalles de apoyo que se le llaman. But the main topic 
is the, well talking about the library and how to get there y cómo llegar ahí. Okay, perfect. Let's go now. Vamos a ver otra vez los verbos en pasado. You already know how to identify verbs in the past. Okay, so here we have this regular, ya sabemos, que algunos terminan en ID, la pronunciación, uh, right? No está, ya, ya lo saben. Want, wanted, visit, visited, and ended, invite, invited, pretend, pretended. And here we have some others that end in T. Ask, asked, miss, missed, cash, cash. Honestamente, eh, honestly, I consider that the verbs which end in S are easy. Lo que terminan en S son fáciles de pronunciar la T. Crossed, closed, relaxed, incluso lo que termina en X. Lo que termina en, en H también. Cash, ok, finished. Son fáciles. Los que terminan en K son los que tienen una cierta dificultad. Park, talk, cook, work. Esos son los que tienen. Porque llevan la pausa de la K, que es muy, muy, que, muy acentuado. And the others are the ones uh, that end in D. Fácil. Cold, cold. Hay una, hay una leve diferencia. Plan, plan. Sí, sign, sign. Follow, follow. Si sí, alcanzan a notar esa diferencia. Arrive, arrive. Memorize, memorize. Entonces, eh, es bien leve. No tampoco quiero que se enfoquen tanto en decir, teacher, no logro pronunciarlo porque poco a poco se va a ir eh, pues, desarrollando. Ok, so here we have. Entonces, deben de tomar en cuenta que si termina en T un verbo regular, definitivamente va a sonar ID. Si termina en, en, en una D, también. Ahora, si termina en S, va a sonar como T. Si termina en K, también, o en H. Y la mayoría son los que terminan en D. Si terminan en L, por ejemplo, cold, si terminan en N, plan, ¿verdad? Memorize, si termina en S. Ok. Questions about this? ¿Hay preguntas sobre esto? No questions. Are you sure? No questions. Ok. Let's move to this activity. Y vamos a comenzar acá. Con Wendy. Bien. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Tenemos D, I, D y tenemos T. Necesito, necesito que me ubiquen todos estos y que me digan cuál es la terminación. Si terminan en D, en I, D o en T. Ok, so here we're going to start with Wendy and then we go with Mardo. Ok, entonces quiero que me lo pronuncien. Okay, teacher. Um, kissed. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Captaste la, 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 lo que te dije de la letra, oh, ¿verdad? Si termina en no. ese, fácil. ¿Dónde está kissed? ¿Qué es el más fue? Um, up, 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 or. up, up, up. Or, or. Aquí está. Or. Kissed. Fácil, ¿verdad? Fácil. Eso es, pues, digo que, que, que tienen como que ese patrón. El inglés tiene ciertos patrones. Si encontramos o si identificamos, if we identify those patterns, English is going to be easier. Va a ser fácil el inglés si encontramos esos patrones. Mardo, and then Yvette. Aound. Aound. ¿Con qué termina? Con T. ¿Con T? ¿O con T. D? Con T. Mm, aunt. Mm, creo que es aunt. Aunt. Con D. Con D. Aunt. Ok. Ok. Yes. Ok. Aunt. We go with Yvette and then Carito. Teacher, no entiendo. 
Ok. ¿Se fijaron en la imagen que les presenté, verdad? De acuerdo a esos patrones, por ejemplo, Wendy agarró la que termina en S. Vean esa imagen si quieren, que ya se las había mandado. Espero que la hayan guardado en favoritos, no con el montón de imágenes del Día de la Madre que les mandaron, sino que, que las tengan ahí cerca porque esa es importante esa imagen. Okay, lo que les envío de verdad es importante, crean. Okay, entonces vean dónde termina algunas de las letras. Por ejemplo, si termina en K o si termina en, en, en T y todo eso. ¿Cómo va a se va a pronunciar? Como con D y D y T. Ok, Carito, you go. Uh, invite, invite it. Yes, invite it. Invite it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's uh, go with Kenya and then Evelyn. Teacher, part y parket. Ok, la de esta, ¿cómo suena? Part, con T. Con T, part. Cuesta, es la que le digo que cuesta porque termina con K. Park. Exactamente. Uh -huh. En cambio, Park. la otra con S eh, o con H es un poco más fácil. Thank you, Kenya. We go now with Evelyn and then we go with Nina. Like, liked. Yes, like. Otra que cuesta un poquito porque termina en K. Like, thank you. Nina and then we go with Carlos. Joseph. Ok, yo, ajá, en, with T or D, en, con T o con D, ¿con quién consideras? Con D, D. Just, mm -mm. ahí vamos a terminar T. con T, T, just, T. Uh -huh. lo que termina con S, aunque la, la, el verbo termina en E, lo que suena es la S, por eso ahí lo tomamos de referencia. Thanks a lot, and then we go with, who? a quien le dije. Ok, Mi Carlos, teacher. Carlos en Gabriel. Ok, teacher, love, loved. Ok, love, loved. ¿Con D o con T? Con D. D, love. That's it, estás enamorado. Ok, we go now with... Eh, ¿A quién le dije? ¿A Oscar o Gabriel? I don't remember. Ok, los dos... Ay, Gabriel le dijo. Ah, y los dos Pero se quedan callados, miren. Hey, Gabriel, un gran malía, se queda viendo para abajo. Así. Ok, Gabriel, en Den Oscar. Le, le voy a decir entonces. Dale. Oh, Gaby, que... Ok, Dale. yo, 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 pues. Parken. Park. Esa ya, ya la agarramos, creo. No, no. Hay fue... otra aquí abajo. Ah, Pero... vaya, pues, tramposo. Vaya. ¿Con qué termina? ¿Con D o con T? Con D. Ok, park con T, park, thank you. Oscar, and then we go with Luis. Pfizer. I'm sorry. Fire. 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 Ah, fire. Ajá. ¿Con qué termina? Con D. Con D, fired. ¿Mm? Thank you. Luis and Wilfredo. Eh, wanted mm -hmm. wanted con mm -hmm. qué termina con eh, id id yes wanted perfect mm -hmm. ok eh, we go a quien más le había dicho a Wilfredo and Yvette you need ajá Bye. Aquí terminan con I de United. United States. Ok. Esta. No, no, no. La segunda, de la última. Esta. La, de la última línea, la segunda. De la última línea, la segunda. Ok. Abajo, you. Unit, algo así. Sí, United, es, que, es, es que aquí está United. Esta es, ¿ves? Es esta misma, ¿ves? Ajá, entonces, ajá, United. Es ID, United. United States of America. 
Okay, you, pero decimos los United, no, United. Eh, Yvette, and then Durán. Ok, Yvette. Eh, switch it. Ok, switch. ¿Con qué consideras? Eh, con T. Es, ya ves que le captas. Good. En sí. Quico, Quet, ¿quién se me queda? Mardo. Durán, quiero otra vez. Ok, Mardo. Hey. Okay. Ajá. Ya conté. ¿Cuál? Hate. Hate, hate, hate de odiar. Aquí es hated. Hated. Ajá. Oh, yeah. Hated. hated. Es hated. Yeah, Como hated, pero con de al final. That's it. Yes. Ok, Durán en Luis. Oh, happening. I did. Happen. By happen. It happen. <coughs> Permit me. Ok, happen. Termina con N. Entonces tiene que sonar como de happen. Happen. Ok. But that's good. Thank you. Eh, Luis en carito. Eh, Point. Ajá. Con T. Point. 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 Como termina point. con T, point, tiene que ir. Point. No, puede, no puede ser point. Es point. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Carito en Evelyn. Again me, teacher. Yes. Again you. And you and you. Let me. Let you. Wait a second, que perdí el cuadrito, teacher. Cuadrito. El cuadrito. Ok, let me see. Start. And when finish in D is start. Casi, carito, casi te la creo. Started. Started. Ok, Carlos. Yeah, you're right. Ok, yeah. right. So, so. Fire. Yo no miento, fire. nunca. Ok. ¿Y es, Carlos? Fire it, fire it. Ok. ¿Dónde está esa? Fired. ¿Con qué considera que termina? Con T. Con T. No, fire. No, con D. Con D. Fired. Fired. That's it. Ok. <clears throat> Uh, another Wendy in Kenya. Um, Russia. Aha, con qué termina? Con with D. Mm -hmm. Rush termina con H. S S S S H. Uh, S S H. Uh, yes, Rush. Okay, Kenya and Carlos. Okay, drive. Uh -huh. Ni encuentro esa. Dressed. Ah, okay. Dressed. ¿Con qué consideras? Con T. Yes, termina en ese. Dressed. Thank you. Ok, Carlos. Jacket. Ajá. Jacket. ¿Con qué termina? Con, con T. Jocked. Yes, jocked. Ok, Luis, again. And Evelyn. Sico. Ajá. Sico. Um, I, I D. Cycle. 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 Okay. Let me check with L. Mm. I guess it is with con D. Sería acá. Cycle. Uh -huh. oh. Ajá, aunque, aunque aparece, son de esas palabras que aunque aparece una E, la pronunciación uh -huh. es L, cycle. Entonces, esa. Igual como la de fired, ¿verdad? No, no termina en E, sino que con R, R, fired. Ok, Evelyn, solo dos Rush. quedan. Rush. Ajá. Yes. Russell. Ajá, ¿con qué Rush. termina? Con D. 
Mm, casi con T. Rushed. Es H. Right. Ok, and the last one goes for Kenya. Teacher, how termina con D. Entonces, aunt. Oh. Yes, aunt. Thank you. Really good. Thank you, my friends. Let's move a little bit. And here we have. What's the name of this song? ¿A quién le toca ahora? A Durán le toca ahora, porque la vez pasada, creo que... O, o, no, la pusiste, ¿verdad, Durán? Yes, ¿No? Redemption. Ah, Redemption. Yo creo que a mí me toca, Tiche. Ese yo creo es no creo. Es <risa> a mí me toca. Y es... ¿Y ves, estás lista para la acción? Um, sí, no, oh, pero sí. Time. Necesitas tiempo. Okay. Uh, eh, easy. Easy peasy. Ok. Eh, solo un detalle. Kenia, you go tomorrow. You go. Ok. Be ready. Okay, mañana. Okay. Una de reggae, eh, de la que te gusta. Yo okay. le dije que una de español y en inglés le puedo pasar. No, cama. <risa> pues sí. Ok. <risa> So, uh, Yvette, uh, let me see, let me see. Siempre okay. que me se me olvida compartir, eh, dejarles, eh, darles el espacio. Se me recuerdo cuando Carito me reclamó que no les daba espacio. No activaba el botón para ustedes. Siempre me recuerda eso. Ok, okay go, Yvette. Cuidado con lo, que, con lo que compartes. Te voy a pasar las de Carito, mejor ni te cuento. <risa> Ay, teacher, que van a pensar de mí. Pero sí me pasó una vez. Bye. Ya ve. Bye. Es súper, súper fácil. Ok. Bueno. I know your ace in the morning, Sam. I feel you touch me in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I want feel you in my arms again and you come to me on a summer breeze keep me warm in your love then you softly live and it me you need to show how did is your love okay easy right yes volunteers that's so easy ahí está la, la respuesta there is the answer in the lyrics no. Una vez se las canté a ustedes. No que ni sé se si es de los Biggies. Yes. Biggies. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. Ahí Scurry. está. Ajá. There is the, the name of the song is there. Ahí está. Oh, I like it. I like it. Ajá. Claudia, me está inventando los nombres de... Ya ven cómo es Claudia. A ver qué me está diciendo. I feel, I wanna feel. Claudia es mala, ¿ok? No, no. I let it be, no sé. I let it be. <risa> ya ven cómo inventa. Si esos son los chambres, ok, de gossip. Ok. Yes, the name is How Deep Is Your Love. Is the last part, the last line of the second paragraph. That's the name of the song. Juan profundo es tu amor y lo demás está en ahí en está en clave. aquí sí. claro, okay. no sé ahí está ok thank you Bye, uh -huh. para, para que... ok good <ríe> ya lo hubiera borrado yo, that's good. thank you okay. thank you really good how deep is your love una buena canción en I strongly recommend you Romantic music for learning English. Las canciones románticas normalmente son lentas, casi todas. So you can learn about vocabulary and pronunciation by listening romantic music. Y de paso se enamoran por tercera, cuarta vez, I don't know. But practice listening, practiquen listening y este, deben de, 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 de pronunciarlas. Si solo las están escuchando, solo están mejorando su listening. Sí están mejorando, pero no su speaking. Practíquenla, aunque 
sean así como medio mudos ahí, pero que se vea que eh, no es lo mismo estar practicando que solo escuchar. Ok. So, how deep is your love is the name of this song. So, uh, let's continue. Where did you grow up? What do you remember the most? Ok. So, um, let's see. Now, I would like to listen. Luis and Mardo. Okay, Luis, your turn to shine. Oh, oh. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> I grew up in the countryside. What I remember the most is that I grew up um, surrounded by rivers, free trees, with a phrase, and very relaxed with the environment. Okay, very relaxed. Yes, environment, good environment, mm -hmm. and fresh air, right? Aire fresco, no yes. pollution, and that's one of the best things. And something good when you grow up in the countryside is that you have space. Tienes espacio, pero total, you can go running para andar corriendo. But in this yes. city, there are a lot of cars. Hay muchos carros. It's dangerous. Es peligroso, but in the countryside, you have space a lot, right? Es, es bien diferente, es bien diferente. Lo he experimentado porque cuando estaba estudiando, eh, tuve un cambio total porque allá en mi, en mi lugar donde yo soy, todo es naturaleza. Y cuando me vine a estudiar aquí a San Salvador, no podía dormir porque la huida de los carros y todo eso es un cambio. Y nunca me hallé, la verdad. Okay, that's it. Yes, that, and, and that's, that's, uh, very, that's true. Right, because you are not accustomed. For the I am. Okay. Yes. Hello, um, uh, Mardo, right? Yeah. Yeah. You go. I grew up in Awashapan City. What okay. I remember the most is playing football in in the street in all kinds of group games. For example, oh. lleva, ladrón librado, congelado, escondelero. Escondelero, that's it. One, two, three, for Mardo. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, if that's why I consider that maybe we were healthier. Éramos como un poquito más saludables en el tema de physical uh, physical activities, right? Because you had to run to play or to climb. Eh, eh, subirse a, lo, a los, comiencen a los palos, escalar. It is not that easy because you have to be like very well hold. Deben de estar bien agarrados. So now it is like cuando normalmente como antes, before we didn't have too much supervision. Ahora sí, los papás dicen, no, no te subas, no, te vas a caer, que no sé qué. So, those things are very different that in the past, que nadie nos veía y nos subíamos, nos caíamos, nos sobábamos solos, ok. So, that, that is really different. Bien diferente, ¿no? ok. So, if you want to say que, si quieren decir que, que no están acostumbrados, I'm not accustomed, o la que me gusta más, I'm not used to. Cuando ustedes dicen, I'm not used to, um, Wait a second, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm so sorry. So here we have uh, this, I am not used to, cuando ustedes dicen eso, es que no están acostumbrados. I'm not used to noise, por ejemplo, como dice uh, Luis. I'm not used to noise, no estoy acostumbrado al, 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 al ruido. Al ruido. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm not used to, to what? To gangs, I'm not used to a lot of cars, I'm not used to pollution. Yes. Okay. 
So, well, nice. We continue. Thank you, Luis and Mardo. Here we have Oscar and Wendy. Okay. Uh, I go in San Juan Opico. Uh, in a boarding school for children studying. What I remember more, uh, I remember most is uh, all the obligation I have to do. I remember the discipline, uh, rigor of the place. Okay. Remember of seven years boarding school. A very important word, Oscar, the discipline. And we have like maybe, now we have different types of discipline, but the, the past discipline was hard. ¿verdad? Era como más impuesta y todo eso. In the case of the teachers and students, right, was very different in comparison to now, right? Well, yeah. and the discipline is, is necessary. The discipline is necessary. It's so necessary. Okay. So, well, thank you, Oscar. Really good. We go now with uh, Wendy. And after we go with... Um, <clears throat> Go with Evelyn. When they start, no, and I gotta get sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I grew up in Soyapango City. What I remember the most in when I went to school, specifically the third grade, I remember the uniform where the school was at that. I didn't like it because I was a very small school to play. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you didn't like the, the uniform? No. Don't like the uniform. No. You didn't the, like the school because it is a, a very small Yes. School. Okay. You can say narrow. Narrow places son esos que no tienes mucho, hay pasillos, you, you can play a lot, no pueden jugar, porque, ¿verdad? Porque está small, ¿verdad? Pero narrow es como más estrecho, right? Ah, ok. So, uh, okay, schools in the, in the urban areas, in the center of the city, commonly are, are narrow, ok? So, 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 okay. Son estrechas. Yes, and that happened, that happened. Ok, thank, thank you, Wendy. Really interesting. Now let's go with Evelyn and then we go with Gabriel. Okay. Uh, I grew up in Panchimalco and I remember that we celebrate birthday playing with my cousins uh, and, we, and we ate bread with Margarine. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> that so... was our cake. Yes. <laughs> uh, bread with margarine was like, and, spe and especially when the bread uh, was like, uh, uh, was baked. Uh, recently, cuando estaba recién hecho también, with margarine, or even when the bread was recent, cuando era re algo reciente del día, no, no, no un pan viejo. <laughs> Uh -huh. With margarine, yes, I, I used to eat that too. So that was your celebration, like your cake, right? Yes. <laughs> and you were really happy with, with Coke, with soda, or, or with drinks, any kind of drink. So really good, Evelyn. Yes, good memories. Yeah. We have good memories when we were kids. Thank you, Evelyn. And we go now with Gabriel. Okay. I write up in the fair by San Pedro Donalco. Okay. Uh, is is cooler. Is cooler, right? Mm, ¿Qué más? We were uh, eleven year old. We come to live herbs and we start. Okay. So uh, you moved 
te mudaste. You move. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. When you say move, uh, we have to move. Move es moverse, pero también se, se utiliza como cuando se mudan, ¿ok? You move to another place. And I know that kind of, that's kind of difficult when we are kids because you yeah. have your friends. You yeah, have your yeah, friends. The, the, the head is more immediate. Si se dice Immediately. Immediate. Immediate to be able to work. Ok. Ok, yes. Okay, thank you, uh, Gabriel. And we're going Gabriel, with... Gabriel, ¿de qué parte de San Pedro eres? San Pedro, ¿cómo que eres? Cerca a, okay. a Mulunco. Qué interesada. Tu familia, no, es que tengo familia, <laughs> pero en el... En el encantado en la comunidad de ahí de San Pedro, ¿no? Ah, uh, uh, ok. Creo okay, que... <laughs> Le deben pisto a Kenia para que le vayas a cobrar. Dice. <risa> ok. Yes, it is like the world is so small. El mundo es pequeño. So, eh, accidentally, maybe we know some other that they know some others and they are friends. A friend in common. Sometimes, well, that happens. That happens a lot. Ok. Así que, pues. And the last, antes que nos veamos casi otra actividad, 12 minutes and we finish. We go with um, Mardo. Mardo. Ya ah, no, no, ya, ya pasaste. I'm so sorry. Ah, sí. no. Tenemos tiempo. We have time. We have time. Okay. Let's go to this activity. Order words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in simple past. Ya saben cómo hacerlo. Carlos está activado. Es on fire, como dice. Ya saben quién. ¿Qué, Carlos? Yes, teacher. Number one. Number one. Did you enjoy the training? Did you enjoy the training? Correct, my friend. Bingo. Did you enjoy the training? Yes. Volunteers for number two, three, four, and five. Mardo. And Oscar, okay. Mardo, your turn. Number two. Eating, eating. Ok, it's negative. Las negativas no comienzan con didn't. Comienza con el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto ahí? ¿O de quién estamos hablando? The manager. The manager. Yes, the manager. The manager. De ahí va la otra palabra. Didn't. Uh -huh. The ten the seminar. Uh, ten the seminar. Y hasta el puntito está ahí. Good one. Thank you. Okay, I guess Oscar is ready. Number four, teacher. Number four. The deal. Uh -uh. It's a question. Uh, oh, did, did the supervise uh, change business the car? To change business cards. Ya no necesitas el the porque ya, lo había util, ya los había utilizado. Did the supervisor exchange exchange? Business cards. Good one. Okay. Volunteers for number three and five. Definitely, I'm going to select two. Okay, Carito. A ti te iba a decir porque está muy callado. Okay, Carito. Mm -hmm. Three or four. Number five. Number five. Uh, we okay. My workmates. My workmates. Mates. Mates. Work mates. 
didn't network at the convention. Easy, right? It's a negative. Easy peasy. Easy as like a ABC. piece of cakes. Easy as one, two, three. Okay. Um, number two, volunteers for number two. Carlos. Ah, no, number three is. Mm -hmm. Number three, teacher. Go. The personal, personal maintenance, maintenance to data train certificate. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The personal. Uh, I'm sorry. The personal updated. Updated mm -hmm. the train. No, the okay. personal. Not a personal maintaining. Maintaining. The maintaining personal. Sería entonces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, man, uh -huh. the maintaining personal. My, sorry. Personnel. Mm -hmm. Your data. Updated. Mm -hmm. Esa updated. Es la cuestión por updated. Okay. The Train certificate. Certifications. Uh -huh. Update. Esta palabra es actualizar. Okay. Updated. Actualizó. Updated. Update. 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 Anoten esta palabra es importante. Update. De hecho, cuando eh, configuran sus su computadoras o sus celulares, eh, en inglés aparece la palabra update, que es actualización. Actualizar. Ok, my friends, eh, we're going to finish with this because we have just six uh, minutes. So, where did you grow up? In this case, we go with Wendy. ¿Ya pasaste, Wendy? No te noté, mira. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Wilfredo, no sé. No sé por qué no los anoté. Wilfredo, what about you? Uh, and then Claudia. I went in the municipal of Mexican Department of San Salvador. Why okay. the most is the astronaut with my family flying in and speak with me, brothers, conscious and friends. Okay. So you, you used to play in the afternoon. With your cousins and your friends and that's good because we have two types of students when we are kids or we study in the morning or we study in the afternoon so that's it we have different schedules thank you and we go with claudia and we finish with edwin okay claudia ah, and duran uh, uh, i grew up in san camille hmm? i remember that i you said to play basketball, basketball uh, until night, but my parents always took care of me. In total, I was healthier. There was not so much evil like today. Yeah, there was not much evil. No había tanta maldad, tanta, uh, tanto eso. Took care yes. es el pasado de take care took care. So, uh, Claudia's parents took care of her. Te cuidaron bastante, ¿verdad? Estaban pendientes. So, that's okay. Then we go with Edwin and Duran. Okay. Edwin. Okay. Uh, grew up in a big family with six siblings and, and in the countryside. And what I remember most is when we will go finish. We, we will get together with a lot of people of go to the river to make the famous tapad and take we will make. Okay, thank you. Yes, it is something that, that, that is really fascinating is go to going to a river. Okay, so well, that's one of the best parts if you have access to that. Okay, thank you. Duran and Nina. Okay, Duran, are you ready? Yes, yeah, sure. Please go. I got up, uh, I got up in Zacatecoluca. Okay. And what I remember the most is when I play soccer in the street with all the neighbor of my neighborhood. Okay. 
interesting. Definitely, it is one of the best things. And well, uh, you took advantage of that. Thank you, Duran. And Nina, we finish with you. Okay, I grew up in Santa Tecla. I remember the most live moments in my life when play soccer with my cousin, the Cafe Talon, every Sunday. And after we were going to Carimar Cafeteria in front of the park and eat pupusas and drink chocolate because in the afternoon in Santa Tecla, always too much fog. It was excellent time for me. Okay, the fog, había neblina. Is that? Yes. Okay, yes, there's uh, like, yes. or it's foggy. Cuando está foggy es como cuando está nubladito. And chocolate okay. is the perfect, a perfect combination, right? For that one. Yeah, right. Yeah, yes. that's it. That's it. Even uh, uh, a place that I really recommend you is uh, La Puerta del Diablo in Los Planes de Renderos. And there are, uh, well, from four, from three, and on, you, you can feel the fog. neblina. Uh, it's really good. So you can have some uh, toast, some coffee, some chocolate, as Nina was uh, saying. Yes, really good combination for the weather. Okay, my friends, uh, recordarles, recordarles, verdad, no se desconecten cuando ya escuchen su nombre, porque hay dos que ya lo identifiqué, que rápido se van. Relájense un poquito, right? Um, please. Termine la unidad 2. Hay solo dos estudiantes que les hace falta la unidad 2. Y hay uno que tiene 72 de porcentaje. Yo recomiendo, I recommend you to do it again. So you can have a better grade. Así que pueden tener una mejor nota. Y terminen el midterm, que es el, el examen de medio curso. ¿Dónde está eso? Está directamente después de la unidad 2. Termina la unidad 2, ahí está el midterm, ¿verdad? El examen. Ok, please do it en... Ya estamos en la mitad del curso, así que ánimo. Solo nos faltan 10 clases más. 10 more classes. Ok, and say hello if you listen to your name. Ok, so Carlos, hello. Hello, teacher. Ok, um, Carito. Hello. Nice. Edwin. Hello, good night. Nice, good night. And we have Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Good. Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Hello, Duran. Hello, teacher. Hello, Yvette. Hello, teacher. Kenya. Oh, Kenya, you have the 10-minute session tonight. Tienes la sesión de 10 minutos Hello. ahora, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Eh, Luis. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mardo. Oscar. Hello, teacher. Hello, Nina. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Wilfredo. Ok, Claudia. Present teacher. And Wendy. Present teacher. Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay, bye bye, my friends. Nos vemos mañana. Okay, descanse. So, see you tomorrow, my friends. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good do we have uh do we have difficulties for some topics or an specific vocabulary grammar structure alguna estructura gramatical que considera que que tenemos dificultades yes teacher dificultad es eh, cuando voy a formar eh, en las preguntas que a veces eh, de do do Se pasa al TAS. Como le explico. Dime, dime. Hoy, eh, eh, esta semana que he estado con la, las tareas, digámoslo así. Entonces he tenido esa dificultad que por qué, por qué en la pregunta ya cambia a DAS. Que cambia a DAS. Ajá, el DO. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Que se coloca el DAS. ¿En qué momento, pues, se, por qué se pone el DAS? Ok. Vamos acá. Eh, no. Estás hablando en presente, ¿verdad? Sí. El pasado está fácil. Ya viste que con el DID. 
con el did, ajá, ahí sí ya, o ya uh, hoy sí ya, ya le entendí. Ya captaste, como, es, que, ya es que, sí, es que creo que te perdiste una clase, ¿verdad? O dos. Mm, una y la mitad. En la de oh. lunes y la vez pasada que tuve problemas con la conexión. ¿Te acuerdas? Sí. Vale. Entonces, sí tengo esa, esa, esa duda que por qué cambia a DAS. Vaya, en presente te voy a explicar. Aquí está. Mm, si no me equivoco, esta imagen ya se las había mandado. Es esta. ¿Te recuerdas? Si no, te la voy a enviar ahora. Ok. De hecho, ¿dónde tengo? A Gabriel se la envié. Ahorita veo, permíteme. Let me see. Sí, aquí está. Ahorita te la envío. ¿Sabes qué? Escríbeme ahorita en WhatsApp. Ponga un puntito o ponme hola. No sé si tiene guardado mi número. Si no. Ah, en el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, tenemos esto, mira, que entonces en presente sí. Esto es un tanto complicadito. Entonces tenemos lo siguiente. Uh -huh. En las afirmativas, normalmente, normally we add S. Agregamos S a uh -huh. las terceras personas, ¿verdad? Eso ya lo tenemos claro, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sí. Bye. Uh -huh. Excelente. Como ya tenemos claro eh, lo del eh, affirmative y las terceras personas, vamos a lo negativo. Lo más común es que nosotros utilizamos don't para las negativas, right? You don't know, I don't like it, I don't like onion. No me gusta la cebolla, I don't like onion. Y así sucesivamente. Ahora, para las terceras personas que son las que siempre nos dan problemas, utilizamos doesn't. Doesn't, uh -huh. ¿Mm? well, For example, my mother doesn't like uh, chili. A mi mamá no le gusta el chile. My mother doesn't like um, merengue, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Y así, doesn't, no, no, ¿ok? So, for the questions, para las preguntas, normalmente utilizamos do. Do you like pupusas? Do you work on Sunday? Do you like your job? Do you have kids? ¿Ok? Pero como las terceras personas siempre nos dan problemita porque son diferentes, utilizamos el das. Okay. Que es el mismo do, solo que para terceras personas. Es como el don't, es el mismo doesn't, solo que doesn't lo utilizamos para terceras personas. Ah, oh, ya, ya, ya. Uh -huh. Así. Ya voy entendiendo. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero ya, ya, ya viste este cuadrito que, que te estoy poniendo acá. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Si quieres tomarle captura, es que siento que así como están eh, señaladas, creo que se, se entiende más, mira, porque están las sí, terceras está. personas. Ajá, siento que así, porque así como te lo mandé, no está señalada. Yo creo que lo voy a modificar. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Después. Ajá. Vale. Ahorita. Espérate, Ahorita. que no creo que salga mi carota ahí. Teacher, siempre las corto cuando hago mis capturas. Vaya, pues, no voy a hacer. No, pero no salió. Gracias a Dios. Gracias a Dios. Ok, entonces, ese es el punto. Right? Ese es el punto. Ahora, uh -huh. vamos a hacer otra oración. Vamos a ver. Eh, teacher, eh, cuando estaba haciendo el examen, eh... Ahí en la parte 4. Ah, pero con la palabra what y todo eso. No. Ajá, también. Vaya, Ahí entonces, donde. Ahí donde también tengo dificultad. Vea, es sencillo, mira. Veamos, tomemos esa. Does he walk? Pongámosle at night. Ajá, pero este para es... hacer... Ajá. Vaya, aquí tenemos una pregunta cerrada. Te pregunta sí o no. Él camina en la noche. Does he walk at night? Pero si antes le ponemos 
Why does he walk at night? ¿Por qué él camina en la noche? Or, where does he walk at night? ¿Dónde camina en la noche? Or, when, ¿dónde? ¿Cuándo, perdón? Entonces, estas palabras que son así, siempre van a ir al inicio. What, where, why, y todas esas. Y después de esa va el auxiliar, que el auxiliar es do o va a ser does. Ok. Ejemplo. Y cuando, cuando, va. En la parte 4 salen las preguntas que se me costó y, y a Carolina le dije que me ayudara. Va, es donde formar la palabra y están las palabras, las tres palabras. What this machine do? Uh -huh. Y yo usaba solo el do, pero al formar la palabra, al formar, perdón, la, la pregunta es what does? Le voy a cambiar porque no puedo utilizar el mismo ejemplo, ¿ok? What this TV do. Ajá, okay. Okay. What this TV do. Ok. ¿Qué hace esta televisión? ¿Qué le hace falta a esta pregunta? Me imagino que el das. Exacto. ¿Dónde va el das? Sería. Uh, what das? Excelente. Pero. O sea, ahí donde de, tengo la dificultad que porque cambia del do al das. Porque estamos hablando de this TV. Entonces, algo bien importante es que estás hablando de una cosa. Y esa cosa es tercera persona. Ya. Uh, ya. Ahí es eso donde. Ahora, ahora. Chibolaba. Te voy a explicar esto. Uh -huh. En lugar de he, podemos decir mardo. Uh -huh. Luis, my father, my brother. En lugar de she, podemos decir carito, podemos decir... Los nombres, Evelyn. Wendy, my sister. Ahora, en lugar de it, podemos decir this machine, dog, company. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, el pronombre personal, he, she, it, puede ser reemplazado por un nombre propio o por un objeto o viceversa. En lugar de decir carito, digo she. Uh -huh. En lugar de decir company, digo, digo it. it. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo que nos cuesta es identificar esto, mira, Kenia, para utilizar el auxiliar. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sí, porque por eso tenía esa duda, dije yo. Porque la pregunta, para formar la pregunta, este, me parecía el do y después tengo que contestarla con das. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero esa era mi duda. Lo que Pero pasa ya... es que el do en ese caso es el verbo principal, no era el auxiliar. Porque do significa hacer. Sí. Uh -huh. Ah, sí es cierto, ticha, por eso. ¿eh? Ay, qué nita. Ajá, ya viste. Sí, 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 sí. Tú, eh... he caído donde no me ha caído. Ah, ya caíste. Digo, ah, ya sí, eso es. El do es el verbo principal. No es que cambió, solo le agregaste el das porque era pregunta en tercera persona. Ajá, sí, teacher. Por eso Por es que yo no, o sea, cuando yo la, la, la estaba haciendo, este, y digo, ¿por qué no me lo acepta? ¿Por qué no me lo acepta? Entonces uh -huh. vino Carito, solo me dijo, no, ese, tenés que colocarle das. Y me aceptó. Y tuve esa duda, va. Pero ya me acordé que es cierto, es el, un verbo. Por ejemplo, acá. What these workers do. Do es el verbo principal acá. ¿Qué auxiliar uh -huh. nos hace falta acá? El das. What does. Uh -uh. Ah. What do. Porque estamos hablando de trabajadores, de varios. Entonces, no es, ya son varios. Entonces, este do no es que se lo cambiamos o se lo duplicamos. Simplemente necesita ese auxiliar para tener sentido. Mm, ok, teacher. Ay, sí. ¿Hoy sí? Hoy sí, ya. Excelente. Esa era mi, mi gran duda. Duda existencial, que no podías dormir. Sí, 
Y que dije yo, cuando me toque le voy a preguntar eso al teacher. Sí, 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 no, adelante. Y si quieres, este, ¿cómo se llama? Recuérdame por lo menos esto. El día de mañana le voy a dar una media repasada para todos. Ah, perfecto, teacher. Porque a la, a la mayoría lo que he notado es que le cuesta identificar los sujetos. Sí, eso creo Entonces, que, porque eso. hasta Mardoqueo me estaba haciendo esas... Eh, Recuérdame preguntas. mañana, teacher, ¿cree que puede explicar un poco lo que me dijo ayer? Ah, okay. De los sujetos, okay. solo así me da los sujetos y yo voy a, ah, ya sé cuál, y le voy a dar la media explicada para qué, porque esto, mira, eso es lo que uh -huh. a la mayoría le cuesta, entonces, si tenemos identificados los sujetos, ya sabemos qué auxiliar vamos a usar, más sí, que todo en presente. Sí, más que todo, uh -huh. ok. Ok, Kenia, bueno, nos vemos, se nos acabó el tiempo, ok, okay. have a good night, pasa buenas noches, Kenia. Feliz noche, chicos. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.